Okay, so I'm actually a big fat liar right now, and we're actually ready with Metal Gear with MX4, my goat. Take it away. Oh, hey, hi, I didn't see you there. Uh, this is M4, uh, and the game is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, a personal favorite of mine uh, ever since it came out almost 10 years ago. Uh, I'm here with my co-commentator and friend Ari, who you may remember from my previous uh, SS for C run uh, when I played Paper Mario Reverse All Cards. Now this uh, might seem like quite a big difference from uh, Paper Mario, and you'd be correct. I decided that I'd rather play a game where all the RNG is at the beginning instead of at the end. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get to the title screen, Ari, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, um, hi. <laughs> All right. I am ready to dive into it. <laughs> All right. Good talk. Well, uh, let me just go ahead and get set up here. Uh, time begins when I press yes on uh, on this prompt right here. So I'm going to go ahead and count down. Uh, I do have an auto splitter, so if something's weird with the timing, because I don't really fully understand how it works, uh, we'll still have a final time, uh, because this game's community is kind of goaded in that way. So I will start in three, two, one, go. Oh, it didn't. I'm so sorry. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. I think my controller may have disconnected. <laughs> okay. I, I'm I'm very serious this time. I am so sorry. It's been a long day. All right. Three, two, one, go. There we go. All right. Sorry about the fake outs right there. So we're going to start off with some dudes. They looked at right and wrong. So we're just going to chop them into uh, min speed really quick. Yeah, so this game goes pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try to cover everything. Um, this game's a little bit of a hack, a hack and slash in a way. Um, you kind of just dismantle your enemies and keep running. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so this first boss is Metal Gear Ray. Um, what we want to see is a lot of headbutts and detail probably. Uh, right. we, we actually want three headbutts and a tail. This might be perfect if he does tail right now. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on, do it Yeah, now. so this boss... Oh, this is like unlucky. <laughs> the worst RNG in the run. <laughs> this boss kind of does whatever it wants. Yep, I definitely would have reset those already. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ray yeah, really it... doesn't follow any kind of playbook, uh, but it's okay. You can lose a bunch of time here, and it doesn't really matter all that much. You can lose up to a minute, roughly, if Ray decides to be as obnoxious as possible. Uh, I'd say what we got was a fair bit less bad than that, but either way, uh, yeah, this game begins with a gigantic power trip. Just imagine the leverage on this throw right here. <laughs> this this QT doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's cool. Which uh, ends up being a lot of how this game functions. It's it's completely implausible, but it's really, really cool. <laughs> so that's the first boss and the most RNG in the entire run. I lost like about 26 seconds on that according to my auto splitter, so... That was not the worst thing it could possibly go. <laughs> it was slightly better than that. Yeah, so basically what was happening in that fight is we're trying to parry the boss. And every time you parry the boss, you get this cool scene where you jump up in the air and can slash it to pieces. Um, but we actually get the full damage by, like, doing nothing. So, <laughs> so we just stop it immediately. It looked kind of weird where we jumped up and then stared at him once and then, <laughs> yeah, and then fell. That's what was happening. Yeah, and for some reason, it's only the turrets that do that. 
If you do nothing on any of the other QTs, uh, you actually do no damage. It seems like a quite the developer oversight. So here is Ray 2. One side. <laughs> you want to do a very specific amount of damage with the exact same combination of attacks to set up a phase skip here in effect. Yeah, this is the thing we're going to see a lot in this game. The, the bosses are heavily gated oh, and that's programmed. Bad. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm going to restart uh, the checkpoint there, because what happened was I parried a bullet and I got a perfect <laughs> parry situation. <laughs> uh, that loses so much time that it is probably better to just reset. Because he'll go through like two or three extra phases if that happens, because we'll be missing like 20% of his HP and damage or something. So we'll just try again. No big deal. Uh, that's pretty rare that a bullet does that. So, you know, that probably won't happen again. It might, probably won't. Okay, there we got it that time. So the head we have to cut. So we'll do that. And here's the face skip. <laughs> you want to hit the left side when his HP is at an extremely specific value, and it'll skip a phase where he shoots missiles at you. That's another situation where the bullet parry can possibly happen. Thankfully, it does not. So if you jump with very good timing, you can take like four to six rockets instead of like 15 when you're in this yeah. cutscene. I don't think anybody really knows why, but it's just a it's just a timing thing. So right there, we, we got that. I I think they call that trihex jump. And there they did in the tutorial from like seven years ago. I have no idea why. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, again, completely implausible, but like rad as hell. <laughs> we are running down a building uh, through all of Ray's uh, nonsense just to get this one last blow in. This kind of sets the tone for the game, I think. It does that <laughs> exceptionally well. All right, uh, we have lost a minute on Brolog to random nonsense. Exactly what you'd expect, right? <laughs> yeah. Marathon you log see a lot and whatnot. Of, um... <laughs> <laughs> you see a lot of Metal Gear Ray in a usual stream of this game. <laughs> it is not unusual for me to not make it out of R0 in an hour of playtime, unfortunately. Oh, so one thing to mention here is this game has like an auto run kind of thing uh, called Ninja Run that will automatically go over obstacles for you. Um, and a lot of the times we just want to jump instead of using it because it's faster. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of that for obstacles. There is a, um, another so movement tech that we don't have access to in R0 that is very important. And we'll see that in a minute. <laughs> so, uh... This is a scripted loss. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we're just going to try to die as fast as possible. Yeah, the idea is to get killed as quickly as you can. Made a small mistake right there, but he'll just sit you again immediately, so it's fine. Uh, you'll notice that in that cutscene, Raiden seems to have sustained some damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly we're missing an arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he just stands there, staring you down. He taunts you if you, if you like attack him too early or too much, <laughs> and if you if Sam decides to mess with you, you can lose a lot of time, uh, right there. So okay, we're out of uh, we're out of right. there. This is where the game really starts, I would say. Yeah. So like up until now, there hasn't really been a. Uh, the point is difference between hard and a new game plus hard uh, but now <laughs> we have Raiden's new body and we have all of the fun toys that come with it uh, so the first thing you're gonna see here is pull arm jumping uh, this is using one of the unique weapons that you get um, in new game plus uh, usually you'd obtain it from the first boss but here we are. <laughs> so what you're doing there is uh, uh, basically we also have access to Ripper mode, which is where uh, Raiden kind of 
uh, remembers that he loves killing things <laughs> and uh, suddenly he is able to jump really high. <laughs> And what it does is it exaggerates all of his movements. So when you activate it while he's uh, doing this jumping animation in the pole arm attack, uh, he actually goes way higher than intended. And we can use that to get um. over some walls. Uh, the other thing you're seeing here is, oh, what in the world? I have never seen this before. <laughs> this has never happened to me. So never seen that. Um, <laughs> is there a re-entry point anywhere around here? <laughs> Here, maybe? No? I okay, don't think well, so. This is this is marathon lock right here. <laughs> if I've ever seen it, I've never seen anyone fall there before. Uh, excuse the excuse the slop. It is uh, it is 4:30 in the morning for me. I've been up playing this game for like six hours. Uh, excuses, excuses, etc. Okay, now we're gonna do it right for real. I promise. <laughs> All right, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing you're gonna see here is uh, uh, we're using lightning strike to move around quickly. Uh, have to take off the pull arm for that. Um, but this is this is the again. fastest okay. way to move. It is <laughs> it is lightning fast. <laughs> I was so close to falling down there again. All right, we're good. Uh, you said earlier we get the pull arm from the first boss. Uh, it's actually the second boss. Check this oh, out. Oh, the second boss, true. <laughs> Check this I forgot boss about out. this boss. <laughs> yeah, Welcome so, to um, the Pinsir Blades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a lot of these fights, we're going to be using the Pinsir Blades because they deal a ridiculous amount of damage. <laughs> yeah. Right. As you can see, that boss just melted. <laughs> we killed Blade Wolf in 12 seconds, including the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, Blade Wolf usually stops you three times to summon, like, four enemies. So, uh, we skipped all of that by just killing him in one attack. <laughs> we also just skipped a QTE right there by doing the PC dodge. For some reason, uh, <laughs> defensive offense, with, which is that little dodge thing, you're gonna see me doing that quite a few times. Uh, it is a macro on PC, on the Z key, and for some reason, only on PC, you can do that out of some cutscenes. And if we if we finish enough underestimate, I'll I'll try to show off exactly what I'm talking about. If you're in the customized menu, you can make right and dodge while in that menu, some kind of including some other places like that. So, very very silly stuff. <laughs> Okay, we have something pretty cool coming up. So when you enter blade mode, which is the mode where you can kind of cut things to pieces, um, time slows down. And when you're in ripper mode, uh, it slows down a lot. So what you can do is actually enter that and then walk through the door that these guys are supposed to enter from, skipping them entirely. Yep. <laughs> it's a, a very unique skip in this game. Most of them involve out of bounds. That one does not. Uh, so here we're hitting a cycle by moving very fast. Uh, there's enemies wandering this area. There's one in particular who, thank you, Ryan. There's one in particular who's like a gigantic problem. If you go fast enough with lightning strike, you can miss him entirely. Did he just cut a palm tree in half? Uh, I plead the pit. <laughs> hey, it was in my way. Good job, okay? Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple times we're gonna reload from the checkpoint to uh, get into the action faster. So this is uh, the hardest skip in the game. Uh, it's called Factory Skip. It's multiple pull arm jumps onto this building, and then a very difficult pull arm jump that is actually uh, dependent on your frame rate. Uh, if your frame rate is not really high, then you will basically find this impossible. It literally is impossible if you're getting less than. I think, which we might be. I don't really know how to check that right now. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Yeah, these are very difficult. You want the maximum height for this, so gotta be very precise. And then we can kind of whoops, skip. <laughs> skip into this unloaded area and trigger the second boss. 
All right, yeah, so, so we're still the early phase. in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, these bosses uh, crumble to the pincer blades, but um, we do some pretty precise series of attacks in each phase to make sure that we're getting the boss with the most powerful attack or whatever we need. <laughs> mm -hmm. For this one, we don't necessarily need the most powerful attack. No, you just kind of stab her over and over again with your giant <laughs> parrot scissors. Uh, that's the, yeah. That is the boss weapon for Sundowner, who's pretty late game. All right, this is yeah, new. This is Let me see if I can get this. Boss. Uh, give me the QT, please. What is happening? <laughs> uh, that didn't happen while I was practicing that, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, silliness aside, that R0 is actually pretty decent, aside from factories keep thinking of Deep Drive, but... Uh, given the, the situation with my computer needing to run a lot of things at once to do the marathon, I, I would say that was fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, you can mash the Y button to skip through these codex. We've got this big emotional conversation with the woman we just cut in half. Uh, somehow she was still breathing for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. I always found that so weird. So that's, wow, that R01 time's really good for how much time I spend on factory skip. At least for the strats I'm using currently. So now we're going to Mexico. All right, your midpoint. Oh, how I wish we could watch these cutscenes. This game is absolute gold. It really is. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that first boss we killed is now our friend. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most lightning strike in the run, probably, as in serious. All right, so now we've equipped Monsoon Psy. This has a couple of uses throughout the run. Oh my god, I went into the wall. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, so um, this is a Mastiff. These things are awful, unless you have the Fox Blade, which we haven't even talked about that yet. But uh, Yeah, we haven't even talked about that. Yet. Um, so currently Raiden has the Fox Blade equipped, which is like the most powerful weapon and it it's basically like if you're in blade mode um without being in blade mode as your slices kind of just cut things apart um not only oh, that my more are you serious <laughs> this is... we also have the... <laughs> i don't know if it's possible for things to go less according to plan than this run <laughs> I, I like seriously have no idea how it could be going worse but uh <laughs> Here we go. Uh, a couple more lightning strikes. Raiden yeah, sometimes. We also have... uh, the reason we don't do that everywhere is because Raiden locks on to enemies when he does lightning yeah. strike. So sometimes it is faster to just ninja run and jump. For whatever reason, when you jump after starting ninja run, you get a lot of speed. So that is why that happens. <laughs> uh, hello? Well, that was terrible. They didn't, the sky hive missed. Oh, he still despawned in time, what? <laughs> Normally, if you okay. kill that enemy in a way that isn't with the sky eye, like yeah, a vertical yeah. slice so uh, straight through the middle, usually they take like 10 extra seconds to despawn. Even after they're like visually gone from the screen, they will, uh, they will still be there and the game will just sit there with the encounter music waiting for nothing until they're gone, so. Is there some way you could sneak past? Oh, yep. Figures. Oh, no. I didn't have to go for that. Uh, normally when I'm doing PB attempts, I do a safety strat on these guys. Where I stealth kill one of them from behind. But I figured since... Uh, this isn't really a... <laughs> this stopped being a PB attempt on Ray 1, so... I figured I would just kind of do whatever. Try to do all the cool things. Yeah, I, I'm going for everything at this point. You will be interested to hear, Ari, that I have actually learned, I think, five new strats, like, while I was practicing for this earlier. Uh, oh none gosh. of them so far have worked, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't worry about the details, you know? We don't worry about the details too much. 
Yeah, this game has a lot of strategies that you can potentially use. See, this game's it's technically really cool. a stealth game. <laughs> yeah, it's technically a that stealth game. That was very game. stealthy. <laughs> Throw a grenade down, distract <laughs> the dudes down below, skip the cutscene, kill them anyway. I think I just got his arm. Yeah, there we go. So that's the power of the fox blade. Wow, I think that's the fastest I've ever done that fight. 10.5. Nice. Alright, so here's the best stealth section in the game. Oh yeah, this is my, this is my favorite part. This is adorable. <laughs> so this thing is called a tripod. And we're gonna we're gonna take control of one. <laughs> it is a sphere with three arms. Calling it a tripod is very generous, but that's what the game calls it. I don't. So has anyone ever um, plugged in a USB before? <laughs> Even the AIs have trouble with it. <laughs> uh, 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 nope, upside down. <laughs> Um, and the whole, whole stealth thing was totally irrelevant because we're gonna run in there and cut everything apart anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, so in addition to the fox blade, we are also wearing the infinite wig, uh, which means that our ripper gauge never like runs out. <laughs> <laughs> So we can enter Ripper mode, Ripper mode whenever we want, and um, that's very useful. <laughs> Another bonus of New Game Plus. Yeah, in addition to, uh, oh my god, Ryan. In addition to the uh, ability to fly into the air uh, based on your trauma, uh, Ripper mode also just increases your damage by a lot. And you'll see that used several times, but it's also slow to go into it, so... We, we avoid it when it's realistically possible to. But there are some things we can't, like right here. We need Ripper Mode for this fight, uh, which isn't much of a fight. Yeah, this is grad. Um... <laughs> oh. oh my god, I actually just messed that up. Oh no. I can't believe I am playing this poorly. I can kind of believe it because it's 4 a.m., but still. So now I'm fighting with plus normally. Uh, as you can see, it is very hard to see what's happening because it is on roller skates and everything is exploding. <laughs> so normally, uh, and the reason I didn't reset the checkpoint is because you cannot. You, it does not help you. Oh, really? Uh, because if you do so, you don't have enough time. Oh. Okay, that... I only lost like 20 seconds or so, I think. Ow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't say I've seen that happen before. Ryan, please open the door. <laughs> definitely never seen that. All right, so this has quickly turned from an exhibition of my newest speed game to, uh, like, a slapstick comedy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Was just a random piece of debris that hit right yeah, after I think the so. fight. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that was uh, that was RO2. Uh, Raiden has discovered that uh, this company that is backed by uh, World Marshal and World Marshal does for oh my god I got a six twelve. Uh, <laughs> this company is extracting brains from vagrant children in Mexico and use and selling their organs and then turning them into cyborgs for their army. And Ryan's like, yo, that's fucked up. So we're gonna <laughs> we're going on a corporate rating to uh, make them stop doing that. Welcome to Denver. <laughs> okay, I was kind of worried I wasn't going to make that skip after the first fail. Okay. Yeah, so you can full arm jump out of the, the zone for that fight. And because uh, the game still thinks you're in that fight, none of the enemies are over here. Um, What's your status? So we can kind of just. Hang on, this is a marathon tradition. We use time. I just look. You and your. Yeah. Well, now. Well, I. 
<laughs> no idea why that's in the game, but so uh, <laughs> people do that in marathon, so I figured I'd uphold the tradition. Anyway, we have to restart the checkpoint there because otherwise the door won't open because we're still on an alert from the police at the beginning. Yep, so we gotta destroy everything in this room, so we're gonna do just that. <laughs> This draw ability that kind of just um, shreds everything around you. <laughs> Sometimes there's like a tripod or something that doesn't die there. Just the mind. Oh yes, it sure is. But not today. Anyway, police hallway went well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes those guys just don't cooperate. <laughs> sometimes they don't see you at the right time, and if that happens, then. Either it's too early or too late, you either get shot by an RPG or the guys just don't file it, uh, single file into you correctly to die, so you have to like chase them down. So this next section, we're going to be traveling over some rooftops, a lot of really cool movement in this area, and then uh, <laughs> some, some pretty interesting out of bounds. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, anybody who has photosensitivity of any sense, or of any kind, uh, we'll let you know when, but you're gonna want to look away. Yeah. In a minute. For those of you who don't have photosensitivity, um, this is what it's like to. Uh, this is what it's like <laughs> to take drugs. Probably. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't do drugs. I mean, what? Okay. So, this is no. It's not quite yet. So, oh, jeez, this is awkward. Please make it. Okay, we're make, yeah. we're good. <laughs> it's it's probably like now nah, you want to look away. <laughs> yeah, starting now, but it gets worse. It gets a lot yeah. worse. So kind of what's happening here is uh, there's nothing out of bounds for the game to display. So it's just displaying what was there on the last frame over and over. Uh, this is actually really good optimization, um, and it, this game is quite old. So. Uh, Probably the reason it runs so well is because the devs were really smart. <laughs> yeah. Doing stuff like this. Saved a lot of assets there. No, oh, yeah, that? we're supposed to stealth through this area. Something <laughs> we're... weird happened there. I'm not really sure what it was. <laughs> we're definitely stealthing through the area. <laughs> they didn't know we were there. <laughs> they sure didn't. Solid state, take notes. <laughs> Have you tried peeking out of bounds? Huh? <laughs> so this section, uh, we break those pillars and uh, the enemies fall. <laughs> There's another fight to dodge, but it's really easy. You just start the wall right in. See, that's what oh. I mean about the locking on enemies with lightning <laughs> strike thing. Oh my gosh! You do not want that. That is bad. So yeah, here's so what the sire another... for. <laughs> yeah, that's what the sire is. Uh, uh, okay. They allow us to... Uh... I That was not at all what was supposed to happen. <laughs> but the sire wants what it wants, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they let us kill those enemies while advancing at the same time. Oh, so this skip coming up is called Resilient Skip. <laughs> um, essentially, we're skipping... Uh, section where uh, Jetstream Sam uh, talks to Raiden on all of these screens um, by skipping the cutscene trigger by jumping over it. It still stops you right here, though. <laughs> yeah, so we just get to stand here and listen to nobody talking to us. We get to think about <laughs> what we did to get here. <laughs> about the Brazilians yeah. we skipped. <laughs> the Brazilians we <laughs> skipped along the way. <laughs> what am I even doing? Oh. Yeah, so in a normal run, uh, they'd be taunting Raiden about his, uh, his past and, uh... Hey, you're supposed to die. Dude, this is... <laughs> so one of the worst things about time loss in this game <laughs> is that sometimes <laughs> dudes just don't die, or they don't despawn, and both kind of happen there. That dude didn't die, and then he didn't have the decency to despawn when I did kill him. Uh, it, it's just, it, it's whatever. Uh, obviously the less that happens, the better, and you can... 
take precautions to prevent that from happening, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a marathon run. We're, we're, we'll just take whatever we get, I think. So, um, yeah. Ryden is now traumatized. The whole the whole talk with uh, Jetstream Sam streaming, uh, Jet streaming himself to every single monitor in Denver to uh, <laughs> talk Ryden down actually kind of got into his head a little bit, despite the absurdity of it all. So, Ryden's... He's... <laughs> He's in crisis. He's struggling with his memes. Yeah. <laughs> he is struggling with his memes. He's not abandoning the mission, but he's very distressed, as you can see by the way he is walking uh, while holding his head as if he has a migraine. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in river mode because you move slightly faster. <laughs> yeah, Ryan run, run walks just a little bit faster in river mode in this sequence, so uh, we triggered it right away. So we kind of we want this dude to see us. <laughs> Hopefully we get to see why. <laughs> yeah. Ryden is still unfazed by bullets in this uh, in this form. <laughs> Please shoot me. Come on. No, we didn't get it. So uh, no. <laughs> you get a d you can get shot by an RPG, but it seems to be random whether or not you actually get that, so... Uh, if it happens, it shoots you forward far enough to save, like, two seconds of walking or something. And, uh, this is basically an auto-scroller where Raiden just gets the pace beaten out of him. Yeah. So, I mean, we could kill these guys, but there are slowdowns, uh, when you're attacking things because they want you to, like, enter Ripper mode. <laughs> or, sorry, enter blade mode and stuff, so... It depends. We don't want to do that. It either. depends on how you kill them. Like, if you cut them straight down the middle like that, that usually doesn't happen. Yeah. I didn't actually go to 0.1. That's surprising. I actually have HP left. Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you. Alright, so here's a minute, uh, here's a 75 second long monologue about memes, enjoy. This is the cutscene that's unskippable on PC that I alluded to uh, at the beginning of the run, so we just get to sit here and uh, if you look over at Sam, he's like clearly trying so hard to not pay attention to Monsoon's monologue and it's really funny. <laughs> He's just like, are you gonna show the uh, oh, I will. <laughs> okay, they are everything we pass. So, Monsoon's just over here, he's preaching his philosophy, and Sam is he's trying so hard to look in the other direction or at the floor, you know, just every, everything except this guy. Uh, Sam thinks Monsoon is cringe. Also, there's a cat over here <laughs> during this part of the cutscene, but this is kind of cute. <laughs> Because the monologue about memes deserves some memes. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm actually going to go for a new try here. Well, new for me that saves about five seconds on this fight. It's just for phase one monsoon, but it's worth... I, I don't know, what, 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 what could happen, right? What could go wrong? We already, we've already lost all the time in the world to silly nonsense. <laughs> let's, try, let's try something that's actually kind of cool. So... Uh, this is Monsoon. Monsoon is, um, <laughs> very punishing. Okay, so, he cause... did, he did not obey. Uh, oh, thankfully, no. I have a backup. So, it's not that bad. Uh, you're supposed to be able to stagger him there, uh, but he started attacking me, like, really early, so it just didn't happen that time. Uh, we got him to the same amount of HP, though, so this is, like, completely fine. That can go wrong in a much more explosively painful way than that. Yeah, so th this first, uh, you know, long, drawn-out cutscene where you throw stuff at you is going to happen every time. <laughs> yep. This, We're not getting around this one. This happens, like, four times in this fight if you don't do the speedrun strats. Uh-oh, please. Okay. Yeah, so we're using EM grenades to uh, stun him, and then his head's gonna fly off, and we're gonna do some very specific attacks to get his HP to very specific thresholds uh, in order to skip phases. Um, you'd be surprised how how little of a difference uh, two fights can have, and just 
one of them goes completely wrong. If you mess up any of the phase skips, you lose like a minute. Because yeah. he does this like three more times. <laughs> and it's really <laughs> slow. So we got a perfect monsoon fight with figures. Yeah, that was really good. I mean, the, the phase one wasn't great, but it was still... I think it was still better than what I normally do. I don't know. We'll see what the IGT says after the fight, I guess. Yeah, everything after that first cutscene film was really good. So I really don't see how this is so unavoidable. The monsoon cackles as he throws it at you. Like, <laughs> like you're not just going to dodge to the left or the right or jump on it or cut it in half. You know, like with any of the other various things he's thrown at it so far. I don't know where this vehicle came from. It, like, it wasn't even close to hitting right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I do here. 215, okay, so I lost a little bit of time going for it. But my normal time is like 213, my best time is 208 with that strat, so that barely mattered at all. So not bad, it looks like I actually saved some time on my PB with that one, if my splits are to be believed. <laughs> Very cool, so that's RO3. Uh, the game speeds up a lot after RO4. It kind of gets into the end game, so this is like the sort of a climax. So we're gonna take this opportunity when we can't run to switch our sub weapon and weapon. Uh, you want to do that whenever you have an opportunity where you're just like waiting for something like this. Uh, for some reason, you have to kill her to move on. I didn't make the rules. Uh, Hideki committed, so we kill those dudes. Lure these guys over here, and that means that we kill the LQ84 immediately upon spawn, and then a double slide finishes that one up. So that was actually extremely good. Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. And uh, we have a we have another auto scroller type thing going on here. The elevators appear yep, so to be disabled. We have to wait for this Which elevator. Yeah, so if the host wants to, wants to say anything, this is the biggest break in action in the entire run, right here. Ooh, splendid idea! By all means, yes! Did you say host wants to say anything? Yeah! Do you want to talk to us? Yeah. So sadly, so far we haven't gotten any donations, which is a darn shame, honestly. Um, so, if you're in chat right now watching, I guess I'm looking at you, Twitch chat. I would like you to type exclamation mark donate in the chat to follow the link. Donate, because we have incentives. And I think we have a good world, so I'm not really sure. Let me double check. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have uh, the Road to Redemption, Virtue Choice Bid War, uh, Shovel Knight is in the game, Shovel Knight's really easy, honestly. Um, and then we have the I'm not, I'm gonna die if I'm, I'm going to die if I don't eat sushi, and Axe I'm going to incentive right now. Well, and those are fairly close to getting met. Um, there's nothing towards I'm gonna die for doing sushi, uh, but there's 30 out of $100 for Axe Bet. So if you're interested in those, uh, those are happening in a few hours. Um, you can donate to those or stick around or even do both. I don't really have that much else to say though. <laughs> That's fair, that was exactly as long as we needed. Uh, yep. We are now in the elevator, uh, which means the auto scroller is over. That was so calculated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was perfect. You did a really good job. Alright, so we have to destroy these electrical panels to move on, and we also have to destroy all these guys. So that's two. Uh, the reason I moved like that is so the RPG wouldn't hit me. Goodbye. That's three. Please, please hit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Those are the dudes who don't despawn unless you hit them in a very specific way. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can I still get away with this? Nope. Oh. Alright, well, that sucks. The grenade kind of hit the, the slope. Uh, I guess I wasn't close enough. But it doesn't really matter, it just means you have to skip a score screen. The usual amount of spaghetti. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and 
move through here. This is the wall run section uh, for a reason that will become very apparent when it happens. So <laughs> if you're curious as to what that means, uh, you, if you've been watching since the beginning, you probably have a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so since there's enemies in this area and a lot of uh, collision and stuff, <laughs> we're just going to be ninja run jumping. Yeah, there's there's a lot of everything going on in, that, in these hallways. So, get up here. Ninja run jumping is really, really fast in those hallways because you land so quickly on the stairs. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. So again, we're trying not to use ninja run wherever possible. Yeah. Uh, the fastest way of moving, uh, if you can't lightning strike, is ninja running and jumping out of it and then letting go of both buttons. Uh, it's like close to when you land as possible because uh, ninja run has a bunch of animations that we don't want to watch because they're really slow and it's also just yeah. not it's also just slow period <laughs> for some reason for hey remember grad yeah <laughs> yeah that, that grad's uh quite the punch over <laughs> compared to the first one so we're gonna wall run yeah. up here uh this is tricky because you can get killed randomly here I, I'm sure it's not random, I just don't fully understand uh, why it happens when it does. Uh, looks like we, it did not happen, thankfully. It doesn't even lose that much time, it's just really annoying to die there. Wow, that actually golden. Cool, <laughs> wow. Well, I, I got a gold out of this, let's go. Okay, so... <laughs> wait, what am I doing? It's Ripper mode. I already have the polar mode. I actually forgot what I was doing. Okay, so we kill this guy. We kill these dudes. These guys are gonna shoot RPGs at us. If they knew it was good for them, they wouldn't do that. Kill these dudes with the pole arm in Ripper mode because it just does so much damage. This dude, you want to cut his legs off. Not enough to kill him, but enough so that he doesn't uh, <laughs> despawn right away just to make him suffer. Yep. And what that does is it delays the spawning of the enemies in this room. Uh oh, oh, I made it, okay. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Yeah, so we can get through that room before any of the enemies are there and uh, not have to deal with any of that, which is really cool. Oh yeah. I also, don't ask me why there's a Japanese garden in World Marshal. Somebody's a weeb, I guess. Uh, we know it's not Armstrong because of the DLC. He's very upset about that being there. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Armstrong, who's Armstrong? Uh, you'll find out when I'm fighting him. <laughs> He's kind of an 11th power villain, but... Platinum really knows how to make stuff like that work. Okay, he's still alive for some reason. Got him. <laughs> so there's a series of fights on this elevator. Um, we kind of just destroy them all. Yep. <laughs> this is just a, so like, here, a rush of mobs, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get onto the other elevator in a second here. Uh, so we gotta defeat these enemies. And then to skip a fight. And this happens, of course it does. Get out of here. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, those enemies spawn. After you kill her, after which is, I suspect that's why sometimes uh, the despawn doesn't like finish for so long. Yeah, so we want to pull arm jump to the other elevator at a specific Are you time. Right now? Oh no! I I have no explanation for that. That hasn't happened to me in a really long time. So anyway, now oh. we have to do this legit. Unfortunately. Yeah, additional fight here. <laughs> oh, just kidding. That was a fairly quick for a backup, but I'm really surprised that pull arm jump didn't work. That looked pretty good to me. 
Yeah, I, <laughs> that looked kind of strange. With that miss. All right, well, yeah, it was it was 17 seconds of time loss, but whatever. <laughs> the usual amount of spaghetti. Yep. Another use of quick draw here. Here's uh, the scissors being really good again against the mastiffs. So I killed both of them really quickly, and now <laughs> we're out here. Enjoy this scenery. Hooray. We're not actually out of bounds right there. Uh, the game just moves the scenery around you. <laughs> so you can get out. And if you do it fast enough, the visuals won't load, but I've only managed to make that happen once. You have to have like a really good fight and then also uh, like get over there pretty fast. So this is where runs go to die. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a very, very scary section. This is um, AI rematch. Miss Charles. She's, She's too far away. Uh, can I make it work anyway? I think maybe so. Yep, I made it work. Let's go. Get back up. Nice. All right. So that wasn't supposed to happen. The first hit of Charge Fencer 2 was supposed to hit her there, but uh, waiting a couple seconds was a good enough backup for her, like run right into me and get killed by Charge Fencer 3. These things are your best friend. I'm gonna need to focus for a sec. Well, yeah, so you have to fight both Distraw and Monster back to back. Nice. Fights are very difficult and prone to going wrong. That was that was really good. I would take that in a PB yeah, attempt any day. They made that look pretty easy, <laughs> but you'd be surprised at uh, how much those fights can go wrong. <laughs> you, you can easily lose a minute if if you don't kill Mistral instantly and the tripods start jumping on you after the red phosphorus grenade wears off, then that fight becomes a nightmare and Monsoon becomes a nightmare uh, if you don't kill him instantly. Like, no matter what your mistake is, you're looking at chasing him around, like, at the bare minimum. And that's just really annoying, so preferably we don't ever have to deal with that. So this is Sundowner. Uh, the scissor blades we've been using the entire time belong to him. Very cool. Uh, they also turn out to be his greatest weakness. Spoiler alert. Oh, they sure are! <laughs> He he cannot stand up to his own weapon whatsoever. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so the bosses in this game really like to taunt us and talk to us. So there's a lot of standing around while they try to do that. <laughs> yep. So I don't normally take that way up, but that was significant angle spaghetti at the beginning. <laughs> So this fight is hilarious. This is really funny, just for the interaction at the beginning. Yeah, for the most part, we just let these fights uh, speak for themselves in this game. <laughs> Shoot. And I speak any that too, like everything else in this run. <laughs> oh, what? what yeah. Happened? I tried to do a new strat. Uh, we, we got him, like, it, you can kind of just do anything. <laughs> as long as you're using the, the pincer blades, it'll be okay in this fight. But yeah, I, I triggered Ripper mode too late on, uh, on that, because I, I learned that strat, like, maybe two hours ago. Thoughts. Uh, it's fine, though. You, you, you have to mess up really badly to lose a significant amount of time on Sundowner. Just because he tries to... His instincts when you attack him is to raise his shields, but his own weapon does not care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like an armadillo, you know? <laughs> Where their defense mechanism just doesn't help at all. Yeah. <laughs> at least uh, not in the cyborg world. <laughs> not in the cyborg world, and not when Raiden already has your extremely overpowered weapon. Unfortunately, we can't use that on the final boss for lore reasons, but it's uh, 
you know, that, that's for a good reason. I'm sure if we could, uh, that fight would look a lot different. Yeah, I, I'm glad that. <laughs> I'm glad that we can't use them for the final boss. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, so you have to cut that once, but if you don't cut the green part in the middle, then you bonk into it and die. <laughs> it is really funny. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Sundowner, uh, talk about all these coincidences lining up for Sundowner to fly right into the meat grinder that is Raiden's sword. Yeah, and for Raiden to still be floating there. Yeah. <laughs> So here's some here's some lore. If those says anything, we've got a couple minutes. Right. I am hurrying. So Sundowner, yeah, so we actually okay. have something. Well, go for it. Oh, the uh, then we have a twelve dollar donation. Uh, right. That just says my credit card is a tool of justice. <laughs> <laughs> and that went towards the Road Redemption character bid war as well. I actually, oh yeah, no, I'm right. As well as um, incentive for I'm going to die if I don't eat sushi. Just a reminder, you can donate to both a bid war and an incentive on Tiltify. Just don't click just this donate because we have a bunch of stuff that's really cool that I want you guys to donate for. Yeah, if you're donating, why not also make something cool happen? <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Ted. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, he, so, he, this dude lived. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, very unusual. Uh, so, fun fact, while you were reading that donation, the time for RO3 popped up, the IGT did, and that was my fastest ever RO3. Right. I can, get, uh, yeah. I guess a lot With some spaghetti, I, yeah. too. Like an extra fight on the elevators. <laughs> okay, so... We're just escaping from Denver right now. Yeah, it's gonna be a mix of stealth and uh, cut everything in the room in half. Where is that guy? Okay, yeah. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Okay, I did that so he would despawn faster. Hopefully it worked. Uh, it didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, so the the cardboard box does exist. <laughs> we, we will be making use of it in this section. <laughs> this section and this section only. So this is actually a stealth section. You wouldn't know it from the way I went through there, but there are tripods on the walls, and they will initiate a fight with you if they see you, and that can take a really long time. So let's just... Yeah, if you look at the mini-map, you can kind of see how this area is... Uh... There's a lot of stuff in the area. Right, what the heck? <laughs> the camera just tripod swerved thing. into the wall there for some reason. Right. We have almost escaped from Denver. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Uh, we're fighting for our life on sub hour right now because of the stuff that happened in the first 15 minutes of the run but we're still it's still possible if the rest of this goes extremely well so uh we got our arm cut off by this guy and then we uh skipped him and we <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> have failed the hp gaming oh no because he uh he attacked us Unbelievable. All right. So I feel like I back this up in a different way every single time it happens to me. Uh, but yeah, so now we just want him to dash at us like this, <laughs> and it's over. So it wasn't that bad. Back up. Nice. That angle you have to flick to hit his hand immediately is really hard to do. Yeah, usually I see uh, I see a miss there. That, that's really clean when you get in the first one. Yeah, so I lost 15 seconds despite failing the, uh, the HP gaining. Uh, 59-57 looks like my BPT on the splits. Uh, 
might be a little tight. <laughs> but I, I actually have something on my sleeve that might turn it around. But we will we'll see here in a minute if it, oh, that doesn't help. OK, so this is the last mission. Uh, we are now in Pakistan trying to prevent the assassination of the U.S. president, uh, which is a conspiracy by a senator. <laughs> Interesting way for this game to end, I will say. So we're gonna get up here. This is normally a sneaking section because the enemies are so strong. But if you have Miss Roll's weapon, you can cheat like that <laughs> and just go out of bounds, yeah. and then nothing loads over here. Another classic. Oh, let's just go out of bounds and skip the area kind of mission. Yep. So we're gonna. We are heading into the final two bosses here. Uh, here's a traditional Metal Gear fight on Metal Gear Excelsis. We can just armor that with uh, the scissor blades and then do like almost a full 30% of damage just immediately. I can't believe I got scooped, but it's fine. Oh no. I don't think I even lost any time because of how quick I got back there. <laughs> So we want to cut the legs off of this giant spider-like robot. Um, it is the it is a U.S. senator who is piloting this, uh, plotting to assassinate the president. So we're here to uh, stop another pointless war from happening. Yeah, this game is wild. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> this game is wild. So we're just doing some extra damage here. Uh, he, I am getting HP gated right now. Until that final yeah. moment there, you can see just how much damage that does. Because the game is like try, deliberately trying to limit my damage, and I still did nearly 20% of the boss's max HP. <laughs> okay, and we actually we want to be at 41 or less HP uh, for the next part. So I'm gonna walk right into that really quick, take some damage. Uh, we have an awkward amount of HP. I'm not sure if 41.2 will work, or if it has to be under 41, but I guess we'll find out. Oh no. If I get hit again, I will not live, I don't think. <laughs> oh. So, we're gonna cut the other leg off. Uh, I don't know why that happens sometimes. If you tap blade mode too early, Raiden will just sit there. And you'll never get this on not so prone, so if that happens, you have to let like, go of it right away. I do not know what causes that. Since usually in most of the, the sequences where that happens, you can just hold blade mode and it's fine. So I don't really know what's up with that, but... Anyway, here's uh, another over-the-top, uh, this is physically impossible deal. Uh, we flip this thing over by... <laughs> The tip of its sword arm. <laughs> Any physicists want to try to explain this? Checkmate <laughs> <Just make> physics. <laughs> yeah, I, I only ever, uh, only ever did physics too, but uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I don't think there's something one. going on here. <laughs> something doesn't look right. <laughs> so we had some nice QTEs here. Uh, if you fail, Raiden just gets squashed like a bug. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was a gold Excelsis by two seconds. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that was my fastest ever Excelsis fight. Dang. This is really, uh, this run's really been hot and cold. I feel like most runs are just getting hot and cold. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> So he breaks hopefully, our sword. Yeah, hopefully our, our okay. uh, HP is going to be enough. It was, we're good. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so that's why yeah, we want to take damage, is because the blow that would otherwise kill Raiden is what advances this fight, since this is another unwinnable. You guys want to see what happens if you stop mashing here? 
<laughs> Do it for the second one. <laughs> or, or, oh, 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 okay. All right, perfect. <laughs> it loses a little bit of time. It's just so funny. I can't help it. <laughs> if I'm not on a serious TV, it's on, the thought is always in my mind. Just not match and watch. It looks so pathetic. <laughs> I'm matching it faster though, if you match it like a consistent pace. Okay, I'm gonna need to focus for this. Alright, you'll probably know exactly what I'm doing when you see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I already feel like I know. <laughs> so this is the final fight. Uh, yep, looks like we're doing Sky High cancels. Uh, a very difficult strategy. Um, but essentially, you get to knock the boss into the air over and over. It's really funny. Um, for whatever reason, they didn't uh, disallow us from doing this. So oh, I messed up. <laughs> I didn't do it fast enough. So we get to uh, we get to rocks a little bit. That's okay. I I learned how to do this like an hour, like two hours ago before the run. I uh, practiced it a little bit. It is five inputs per attack, and now he's gonna do it again. Thank you, Armstrong. This is what happens if you mess this fight up, by the way. You uh, you get to watch a lot of this exact cuts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see a cool QT? Gosh. Okay, the cool QT failed. <laughs> yeah, so this green attack is when he's trying to heal. Um, he heals a lot, and really quickly. So we want to go into blade mode and stop that yep. when it happens. All right, I'll try. So when we get him down to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We're still going to be interested. Okay. Right please. I, yeah, in a perfect world, we uh, don't really see this fight. I am really, There's really bad at that for some reason. So here's the end. Uh, time is gonna come when Raiden's arm is elbow deep in Armstrong's chest. Here in a sec. It's a little more than a sec. <laughs> yeah, it, it's this is like a little under a minute long, I think. Yeah, uh, the ending yeah, QT here. A bit first. This is a significant percentage of the entire run because it's sub hour uh, at a high level. So, uh, in like one minute of it, it's just wrestling with this dude. <laughs> By the way, this is not available. Eat the wrestle part right there. You cannot lose oh, if you really? just wait. Raiden just sits there for a while and then headbutts him. Alright, time is now. Okay, so that was a little spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Maybe a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, currently 5 in the morning where I am. Uh, I may have been up all day, but this game is amazing. It is so fun. Uh, if anybody's looking into like a short, like, you know, 50, 55 minutes of like 110 speedrun at like a decent level of play, this is a really good choice. Um, we finished like almost four minutes slower than my PB or something, but you know, I was trying new strategies. Uh, this is really fun. We had some, we had some on, we had some off. Uh, this game is incredible, and honestly, it's kind of a shame that it's mostly known for, you know, just the memes. Uh, <laughs> just, just about everything about it is amazing. The, uh, the sound design, especially, the combat, uh, the bosses. Uh, if you haven't given this game a try yet, even casually, you really, really should. You carve your own path. So, uh, we get a little ending cutscene. This, this doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and go to the credits. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I had never seen this game or any Metal Gear game <laughs> until Ryan played it on their stream and um, 
now I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, this is a very, 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 very fun game. So, yeah, uh, I guess shout outs. I mean, I, I learned this game two months ago. I think two months from two months ago today, I think, was my very first ever run of this. And it was like it, it, it was it was kind of scuffed, <laughs> but I, I have had so much fun learning this, and I really appreciate everybody who's, you know, been in my stream and like watched the, the learning process of doing so. I'm not I'm not done with this game yet, not by a long shot. It's only been two months. Uh, there's a lot left to learn. I just like now started doing certain strategies uh, in this run. I don't think I did any of them correctly, but you know, you gotta you gotta start somewhere. Um, but yeah. I I really love this game. You guys should all give it a shot if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for me. <laughs> Do you have any final remarks, sorry? I am going back to sleep. <laughs> you know that's a, that's a good final remark. I I, I have stayed. I, I decided to stay up because I didn't want to risk oversleeping, and I don't know how wise that was. <laughs> I I like actually I was super tired, so I actually just like time skipped four hours yeah. and woke up for this. It's <laughs> like I, I passed out. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it for us if uh, the marathon's ready to take it back.